I just wanted to make a little video to remind you guys to set your minds on things above. Colossians 3.1, if you've been raised up with Christ, this means have you placed your faith in him who died for you and rose from the dead? Because by that faith, his death becomes yours and his resurrection yours as well. So if you've been raised up with Christ by faith in him, keep seeking the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. This has to do with the person of Jesus and his position, which is the ruler. He's at the right hand. That's the place of rulership. So let your attention and desire seeking be upon his person and his wonderful rule in your life. And he goes on to set your affections on things above and not on the things of the earth. The things of the earth will leave you weary, worn out, tired, and dry. There is no remedy in the earth for the things in the earth. There is only one remedy, and it is not from the earth. It comes down from heaven. Jesus must have all of our attention, especially in this time. Let us lift our eyes higher to Christ. In the book of Colossians here, we see that they began to give attention to things that were philosophy, empty deceptions, traditions of men, and elementary principles of the world. You say, what are all those things? Well, they're all defined by the next statement, rather than according to Christ. Whatever they may be, they are not according to the person of Jesus. It is important that our eyes are fixed upon Jesus and not led astray by persuasive arguments or interesting things. He must stay above all. In verse 19 of the second chapter, it says here that they were not holding fast to the head. This is direct contact with the person of Jesus. Look what happens in direct contact with the person of Jesus from whom the entire body being supplied and held together by the joints and ligaments grows with a growth which is from God. God causes you to grow as you hold on to the person of Christ. But what had happened with the Colossians is they had let go of interactive fellowship with Christ and replaced it with shadows of what is to come when the substance was Christ. They're staring at a shadow instead of the substance. Chapter 3, verse 11, we see that Christ is all. There is no Jew nor Gentile. There is neither male nor female, no circumcised or uncircumcised, because in Christ we are all one. For Christ is all in all. The key to Colossians is that this great mystery would be realized. Christ in you. Ephesians shows us that we are in Christ, but Colossians shows us that Christ is in us. The treasures of all of heaven are the man Christ Jesus. He is the glorious riches and he has installed himself by his spirit on the inside of us. Why go lower than him who is above? And so let me define for you Christian maturity. Verse 6 of the second chapter it says, as you received Christ. How did you receive Christ? You threw yourself at his mercy and said, none of my efforts can save me. None of my goodness can save me. I am deeply in need of you coming in and performing the entire act for me. Save me, Jesus. That's how you were saved. And he says, as you received him, so walk in him, maintaining the same dependent gaze. Oh Lord, I look to you, you're my only hope. You, you are the only one. I give all over to you. This is how we walk, step by step, making progress in the Lord. He goes on to say, having been firmly rooted and now being built up in Him. This is not only how we get rooted deep in Him so that the storms don't blow us away and rooted deep enough to be able to bear forth fruit, but also it is how we are built up in Him by dependence upon his person, looking to him to be everything. The other day, the Lord spoke to me in poem form, and he said this, he said, marry me, let me be all to thee. None can be what I can be. Give ears to hear and eyes to see. Thrill your soul with ecstasy. Fill your heart with joy and peace. Make internal wars to cease. Lift you above life's miseries. 
open your eyes to mysteries, impart to you my victories, love you now and endlessly, and marry you eternally. Jesus just wants this proper place. The scripture tells us that he may have the preeminence, the first place above everything. Everything that is not him is below. Let us not get sidetracked. Let us stay fixed and set upon the person of Jesus as the preeminent one whose work is perfect. May we give our attention to his presence within. This is the key to walking in maturity and having a growth that comes from God. I wrote this poem this morning. Christ, my riches be, my all-sufficiency, flame lit in me, name dripped on me. I sit and see my inconsistency, a witness freed by nails hit in thee, mockery on a tree, honestly, you're dawn to me, a song in me, you righted the wrong in me, your spirit is strong in me, to you I bow my knee, my king forever be. It must all hang upon, rest upon, be quickened by, finished by the Lord Jesus. Our part is to yield to his sweet presence and then he will do the rest. So I want you to pray this with me. Just put your hand on your heart and just pray this with me. Say, quicken my mind to think in your way. Quicken these affections of mine to love you all day, to bow low my will be still and stay, to remain filled, come whatever may. The Lord is with you and He keeps you. You are complete in Him. He is enough for you. Stay there in sweet fellowship with Him. It is in fellowship with Christ that we experience the riches of the divine life that He Himself is for us again and again. This causes fruit. This is how he causes us to grow. It is joy. It is peace. All in his person. Let us set our minds on things above, our affections above upon him. May his sweet peace guide and rule our hearts in Christ Jesus. God bless you guys. Hey guys, some of you have been asking us how you can support our YouTube channel. You've been blessed by the videos, the short films, short teachings, and the instrumentals. Listen, if you don't know about Patreon, Patreon, there is a way to support our YouTube channel with $1 a month. And I will leave the link underneath this video for how you can become a patron, a literal, a literal supporter of our YouTube channel for $1 a month. And I thank you so much for those of you that have asked about this. The link is down below. God bless you. <laughs>